So Cliffy, you received a lot of praise for your performance on Friday against Harlequins. How good does it feel to get that recognition? Uh, yeah, it was. It's always nice, isn't it, to get a bit. But I mean, um, the funny thing is, it was you know the, the way the boys played. Uh, how physical we were, how quick the breakdown ball was, you know, it made life easy for me. But yeah, as you say, it's nice, it's nice, isn't it, to, to read some nice stuff about yourself every now and again, I guess. What would you say the dynamic is in the side with, in terms of the competition for places? Do you feel like you're thriving under the competition for places? And do you feel like the rest of the team are as well? Yeah, I think so. I think we've just got a, a much better squad in general than we've ever had before. Um, you know, and everyone pushes each other on, and you know, not only that, you're training with better players week in, week out, and against better players, um, and you don't want to let anyone down when you know when you do get the opportunity. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, the the better the players, I feel like everyone raises their standard really. So, in the past two home games, we've shown the type of form that maybe fans had envisioned in pre-season. How easy do you think it is to translate those performances into away games now? Uh, well, <sighs> for some reason it always seems to be tougher, doesn't it? But I guess there's no reason why it shouldn't. Mm. It should be any different at all. So um, I think if we can get to that, that level where we're as physical as we were and we carry as well as we did and our breakdown is that good, and um, you know the rest of our game is, is structured the way we want it, then. You know, there's no way we can't. There's no reason we can't do do the same away as we uh, as we can at home, of course. Would you say confidence in the side after that win on Friday is the highest it's been all season, given the nature of the dominant win that was? I think so. Yeah, I think I think boys have known that we've not been far away for you know the last few weeks, and you know even like the loss to Bath and, and, and get other games we've lost and being being tight tight games. So. Finally, for it to, to click and for us to go, hang on, we've, you know, we've not just beat the team here, we've, we, we've bashed them up and we've beat them quite comfortably. Um, yeah, I, mean, I was buzzing, I think everyone else was buzzing as well. These European fixtures, obviously, they're going to be a big test. La Rochelle first up. We've shown that we can be successful against them after the home tie. But there is now an opportunity for some of the younger lads to come through and prove themselves as well. So, how impressed have you been? You know, with the likes of James Williams in training this week. Yeah, he's looked sharp actually, um, and he's been real vocal, which is which is always good. Um, but you know, he deserves his chance. He's played so well, hasn't he, in the Jets and when he's when he's played for FC. So uh, no, I'm looking forward to seeing him play, and you know, he's excited to get out there. Um, and there's other lads as well who haven't haven't played that much recently who um, who are getting a run out and, and are looking forward to show what we can do. Are the Jets games games that you keep an eye on? in terms of helping nurture the up and coming talent in the club? Yeah, I think I think the way the squad is, everyone keeps an eye on the Jets games if you can get down. But to try and get down and watch, there's always a live stream when they're playing away. So, um, no, we're one big squad, aren't we? So it's, it's good to keep, to keep track of it. And I think most boys do, yeah. And what are you expecting from this game? Obviously, we had that opportunity to get to the European Cup final last year in La Rochelle. It didn't quite go our way. Is that still playing in your mind, even though the nature of this game is completely different to that of the semi-final last year? Are the memory still there? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, in terms of the experience, it was a great experience. It was a good, good game, wasn't it? But um, no, I think, I guess the old saying is the shackles are off, and we can go over there this week, and we've not really got anything to lose, and we've got, you know, we've got a, a team out who want to play some rugby, so you know, we go out there and throw everything we've got at them against a big physical decent side and, uh, and see what sort of performance we can play. I'm guessing the atmosphere is something that you guys will relish and thrive under over there because in comparison to British rugby it is quite different the way they do things over there. Isn't yeah it, it is, they're, they're very passionate aren't they, the French fans and you know they were, we saw that in that semi-final last year so mm. you know hopefully it's the same again and uh, we can put on a show and it can be a great game and we can come away with a good result.